Welcome to the 13th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to use the SM5100B GSM GPRS module to send temperature data over SMS. We will be using the SparkFun GSM GPRS shield. This shield uses the SM5100B GSM GPRS module as the cell radio. This module can send and receive SMS, make and receive phone calls, and send and receive 2G data. This module is controlled with commands sent over a software serial link from the Arduino. We will also be using the Texas Instruments TMP-102, which is a low-power, two-wire serial output digital temperature sensor that operates over a wide thermal range. As shown by the graph, the TMP-102 is specified for operation over a temperature range of negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. This sensor is accurate to within half a degree up to 85 degrees Celsius and has a resolution of 0.0625 degrees Celsius. The GSM GPRS shield is placed on the Arduino and the temperature sensor is connected to the headers on the shield. Here is the pinout. Connect the supply voltage and ground to the plus 3.3 volt and the ground pins of the Arduino. Since it is an I2C device, connect the SDA to pin A4 and the SCL to pin A5 and ADD0 to ground. Let's look at how to interface this shield with the Arduino. First, we include the software serial library with this line. This line allows the Arduino to talk to the shield over a software serial link. Then, we include the I2C library with this line. Next, initialize the software serial connection on port 2 and 3, RX and TX respectively, and store them in variable cell. Incoming car will hold the incoming character from the serial port, and the boolean can send will be used in the loop to determine when the GSM module is ready to send text messages. Initialize the variables byte h, byte l, temp, and temp c. Then, in setup, we start the serial link to the computer and the serial link to the GSM module. In the main loop, we call getTempSent, a function that returns the temperature reading in centigrade. While there are characters that have not yet been read from the GSM module, we get the next character from the GSM module. If that character is equal to 52, which is ASCII decimal notation for the number 4, the module is ready to send text messages. We send a command to the GSM module that sets the band the GSM module will use. This number 7 references a set of bands. Here is a list of cellular bands the module supports with a value that is used in this command. In the US, GSM 850 and PCS 1900 is common, so we will set this value to 7. If this value needs to be changed, wait 20 seconds after uploading the code, then reset the Arduino. When this value is changed, the module needs to be reset again so that it can connect to the cellular network with the new band. Then we set can send equal to true and print incoming car to serial. Every loop we check if can send is equal to true. If it is, then we will send a text message with the new temperature data. This line tells the GSM module we are going to send a text message to a phone number. After every command we send to the GSM module, we have to pause for a small amount of time to make sure the GSM module is ready for the next instruction. Next, we send the phone number the text message is going to, print the temperature, and then write the character 26. The ASCII character 26 is the character the GSM module waits for to know the text message is over. Then we delay for 10 seconds before we run the loop again and send another text message. After the loop, define the function getTempSent. First, request two bytes from the sensor, a note on the 7-bit address. Four TMP-102 devices may share one I2C bus and read operations are addressed 72 to 75, based on the ADD0 pin configuration. Since we have grounded it to logic 0, we use decimal 72, which is found by converting the hex number to binary, then bit shifting right once. Read two bytes from the temperature register. As the TMP-102 stores conversions as 12-bit value, position temperatures are denoted by the most significant bit equal to zero. 
Bit shift the first byte four bits to the left to form the MSB. Bit shift the second byte four bits to the right to form the LSB. Then logic or the two to combine. Multiply by the resolution of the sensor to get the temperature in degrees Celsius. When this code is run with a SIM card in the GSM module, this is what we see. The 1 shown next to SIND means that the SIM card is inserted. 11 means that the GSM module has successfully connected to the wireless network. If you get 8 instead of 11, you probably have a poor connection to your antenna from the GSM module. As you can see, when the GSM module sent the number 4, the Arduino starts sending text messages to my Android phone. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.